Over the years, I've been traveling a lot and seeing atrocities that have actually devastated my confidence in the human species. In human history, only 100 billion people, humans, have ever lived. And yet we torture between 2 and 3 billion sentient living beings every week. 10,000 entire species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one. Now, if any other organism did this, a biologist would call it a virus. It's a crime against humanity of unimaginable proportions. When I consider the amount of water that is used to produce the meat that most people consume, and the same goes for dairy, when I consider the amount of carnage inflicted on the planet and the killing of our rivers and our oceans by the livestock industry, when I think about the, uh, the greenhouse gas emissions that are emitted from the livestock trade, and then you see the devastating effect it has on human health. I think the only choice left for a rational, intelligent, compassionate human being is to get off the meat and dairy drug. This is not a food. It's not fashion. It's not a fad. It's a drug. So it's about time we woke up to ourselves and accepted the reality that this was a minor blip on human consciousness, on human decency, just for a few centuries. Let's go vegan. Let's adopt a compassionate, healthy, intelligent, rational philosophy of life. I'm always drawn to a word from another language. You know, the most beautiful word ever written at any time, in any place in human history, came from India, from the Upanishads. Ahimsa, non-violence to any living being. I can't think of a more beautiful word for us to remember every day, not just in what we do, but what we say and what we think. And all the stakeholders in this glorious equation that we call civilization will benefit. And we can all look forward to a healthy, happy and peaceful life. Now that's something worth fighting for, don't you think? Thanks.